Hello, my name is Carter with First Updates. Now I'm here with the Tungsten Tigers with Liam, Grace, Johnny, and Amelia. They have a fantastic robot, very well packaged here. They got swerve drive and a couple of other mechanisms that we'd like to go over here on First Updates Now behind the box. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. All right, Amelia, why don't you get us started with the uh, pixel mechanism and how everything works together there. So we have a car wash style flapper intake. Our flappers have, are made of baking sheets and they have stiff parts in between them to help hit the pixels hard and take them in uh, easily. Then. Inside, we have our storage, which is held by pins, and then we have a gate on the back, so we can drop the pixels easily. And that is how our pixel like intake and delivery works. Awesome. Can you tell me a little bit about your slide mechanism here? So our slides are used for extension when we need to get height on the board for like height bonuses, and usually we stay low for mosaics, and then also for um, hanging in the in end game. Awesome, very cool pixel manipulation mechanism here. And then Liam, let's talk about the big, big feature on this robot, the swerve drive. Tell me all about it. Tell me iterations that you've gone through and everything that you know about it. All right. So our swerve drive is, so they're in four different modules. Where so basically they have the uh, they have the motor which goes through some gears and a pulley and then another gear which leads to the uh, which uh, leads to this level gear which rotates the wheel of the motor and we also use Axon Mini Plus servos which go off a gear which go off a gear into a pulley which rotates the entire module. Some of the iterations we've gone through is having our. Uh, have it so basically we had to make our robot smaller so we w went from a 16 by 16 to a 13 by 13 so we had to arrange our motors and servos differently so it would fit in the iteration we all so, yeah, so we used those and then some of the advantages of our swerve drive is that so it's pretty agile with the servos being able to turn on every wheel and it having full power because they're all driven Separately. Thank you. That's awesome to hear about the Swerve Drive. I love to see that uh, being a new uh, project that a lot of teams are working on throughout the years. Um, I'm excited to see the future of the Swerve Drive. Uh, Grace, can we talk a little bit about the uh, drone launcher mechanism, your climber, and an additional mechanism that I had not thought of previously? Um, our drone launcher, we have two servos, um, and it tilts, and it will fire the drone once it tilts. Um, and it has a surgical tubing that will pull back, uh, will put the drone in, and it will the servo will release it, and it will uh, launch. Um, for the hanging mechanism, we have uh, three motors that will, at the um, at end game, we will press a button, and it will uh, send this up, and we will line up with the bar, and once it is lined up, I will lower the arm onto it and it will pick up the robot. Alright, um, purple pixel placer. Purple pixel placer uh, has one servo that will, we, we put the purple pixel in there and it will, the servo will then move the pin out and it will drop during, and, during Auton to, for a better pixel placer. Awesome. All the mechanical side of the robot looks awesome, but let's hear a little bit about from Johnny about the software side of things, any sensors that you use, and anything you'd like to share. I know you mentioned a little bit about the path planning uh, program that you guys use as well. Uh, yeah, so we code using Java. Uh, we mostly just write uh, pseudocode and our programming coach will do all that. 
um, for like recognition of like the team prop during Auton, we use TensorFlow where we'll just take a bunch of different pictures of the robot in every possible lighting, angle, different like floorings that doesn't get associated with our uh, practice fields. We use the JVN calculator uh, to figure out like what the torque for each uh, what the torque for each like motor and servo needs to be. So uh, it's like lifting the right amount, not going too fast, and not like snapping underneath pressure. And we use sensors, like we have a color sensor right there so that the robot can recognize uh, the color of the pixel and yeah. Oh, and, uh, let me switch this. I'm so sorry. All right, awesome to hear about the software side of things as well from the Tungsten Tigers here. Overall, beautiful robot, awesome swerve drive, awesome pixel manipulation mechanism, awesome software side of things. So thank you, uh, Liam, Grace, Johnny, and Amelia for this amazing interview. This is Carter signing off with First Updates Now. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotics scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.